Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm partnering with Wix, a web builder that I use to build myself a beautiful website that I'm super excited about. You can do it too in five easy steps. If you head over to Wix, you can sign up for a free account and begin building your own website. I will put the link down in the description. Big thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. And today I'm going to be cooking this. Isn't this beautiful? This is a gorgeous ostrich egg, the biggest egg in the world. So I've read in a couple different places that one ostrich egg is equivalent to about two dozen chicken eggs. And by the heft of it, I would say that's likely true. So on social media, I asked all my lovelies, what should I cook with this egg? And many of you chimed in with awesome suggestions, including an omelet, om rice, a giant fried egg, a giant poached egg, giant deviled egg. But then I thought, why not tackle the cloud egg? So today I'm going to be attempting a giant cloud egg. If you don't know what a cloud egg is, basically you separate the yolk from the whites, you beat up the whites into a beautiful fluffy meringue, par bake that, and then you put the yolk back into the little well that you've created, bake it all together, and you've got a gorgeous cloud of white egg with a golden soft runny yolk in the middle. That's the plan at least. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. I purchased this online. I paid $50 for it, but including shipping, it was about $75. It is very heavy and gorgeous. I don't want to break it. I actually considered blowing this. I was just going to make a small hole and use a straw to kind of blow out the insides and just preserve the shell. My son actually has a natural history museum. He's only six, but he collects things <laughs> that are from nature that he loves. And so I want to include this, but for the recipe that I want to make, I want to make sure that the yolk is intact. So I'm going to make a large hole on the bottom of this egg. So I don't think I'll be able to preserve much of this, but I can admire it while I have it like this, right? The plan of attack is to take one of these weapons of choice, either a cleaver, a knife, hammer that I took for my sons, <laughs> or a large hammer to create a series of bashes that I can form a, you know, hole so I can remove the egg intact. I'm going to try using this cleaver. I'm going to be using the back of the cleaver. It's not such a heavy cleaver, but I'm thinking that this edge will make a cleaner, more purposeful, you know, bash rather than the hammer. I don't know. That's the idea. All right, here we go. I don't want to do this, but here I go. And thank you, Mama Ostrich, for making such a beautiful egg. All right, here we go. Oh, there it goes. I made a couple chips. Okay, that did it. So swift, purposeful bashes. There we go. Oh, it's so sad to see this cracking. Oh, all right. I think I got it. So here's a piece of the shell. I'm gonna remove the shell here. And the shell is gorgeous. Look at that. Let me show you up close what it looks like. So that didn't take much effort at all. The shell is beautiful. It's probably a couple millimeters thick. There's a very thick membrane here and I can see the yolk. So this is good. I'm gonna peel this back a bit. All right, widen up this hole. Kind of reminds me of cracking a coconut. Oh, 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 oh. So my yolk is, the egg whites are already gooshing out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. There it is, that's life right there. It's spilling all over my countertop. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All over my countertop. Yep. That would be ostrich egg white. And there it is. Hello, beautiful yolk. Take the egg and carefully pour it into my bowl. Oh my gosh. So beautiful and it's whole. There is my beautiful shell. It is gorgeous. I'll still keep it, I think. Wash it out and keep that. So here is my ostrich egg. It is quite heavy. I'm so glad it came out whole, that my yolk is not broken. There's something about film that kind of flattens things out. You don't get a sense of scale. It's really difficult to capture the immensity, the enormity, or size comparisons on camera for some reason. So for a little bit of reference, here is a chicken egg, and here is our ostrich egg. Easily 10, 15, maybe even 20 times larger. So now what I'm gonna do is separate the yolk from the whites and I'm going to use my impeccably clean hands to scoop this ever so gingerly. Oh, I don't wanna do that. It's gonna be, it's so risky. Do I have, oh, I'll use a bowl. Yes. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes, that's what I'll do. Rather than using my impeccably clean hands, I'm going to use a bowl to gently scoop up the yolk. There we go. And pour out some of the white, because we need that for scrambling. Not scrambling, for whipping. Okay, we don't need all of it, we just need, yeah. So try to pour that back in, but we don't want to break our beautiful yolk. That is so amazing, look at that. <laughs> so since this is such a large volume of egg white, I'm gonna use my stand mixer to whip this up into stiff peaks. So I'll bring my stand mixer over here. Hello. In go the egg whites. Now we're gonna beat this along with a couple good pinches of salt. Here we go. <laughs> now this has been beating for about 10 minutes or so. It takes quite a while because there's such a large volume of egg white. All right, stiff peaks. So we want it to be nice and peaky like that. This is the biggest baking tray that will fit in my oven. It's about 21 inches by 15 inches. <laughs> and I've lined it with parchment paper. A little trick that I learned from Jacques Pepin to keep your parchment paper from rolling, you can just spread a little bit of butter and it will stick to your pan. Thanks, Jacques. We're gonna take all of our egg whites and make a cloud. Look at this. <laughs> this is so crazy. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never made this much meringue before in my life, but it does look like a cloud. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at this. I love it. It's so huge and jiggly. Look at that. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. All right, all right. Mush this out. Now we're going to need a well that's going to be big enough to accommodate our yolk, which is huge. So I'm going to spread this out so it'll cook well. All right, that is huge. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna pop this into a 425 degree oven. Typically, it's supposed to take three minutes, but since it's so big, it'd probably take a little bit longer. We shall see. All right, into the oven. Bake away. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, look at the size of this thing. Woo! So my egg whites have been in my 425 degree oven for about six or seven minutes and look at the size of this thing. It's souffléed and poofed a lot. It's getting a little bit of goldenness to it and it's got a Mondo jiggle. Look at that. Jiggly cheesecake, eat your heart out. Boom, 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 boom. Oh man, that's so sexy. Now we're gonna take the giant yolk and place it into its nest. Yes. Ah, this is gonna be great. Okay, back into the oven. Beautiful. Goodbye. So while my egg is baking, let me tell you a little bit more about Wix. Wix is great for both businesses big and small, whether you're a hotel, a restaurant, designer. Wix has got the tools for you and the options you need. If you need an e-commerce site, if you need to take payments, make reservations, Wix gives you options. And they do all the heavy lifting for you, including reliable hosting, so you know that your website is both safe and secure. Click on the link down below and register for a free account and begin building your own personal website in five easy steps. All right, let's go ahead and check on our egg. I've been cooking my yolk now for a total of eight minutes and I cooked the initial white part for about five minutes. So it's been a total of about 13 minutes. I do want the yolk to be runny, but I do want it cooked. All right, here it is. Let's get the yolk out, let's get it out. Okay, timer up. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. Yes, yes. Hello, 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 hello. I am so excited about this. It's already starting to deflate, but look at the size of my cloud aids. It is huge! <laughs> love it, love it, love it. 
It smells great too. It smells like I've just made meringues, which I have, but there are, there's no sugar in here. Look at this. Can you see that? All right, got myself a piece of fresh buttered toast. There's my toast and I've got it cut up into little fingers. Now we're gonna taste the beautiful cloud egg. I don't wanna ruin it, but taste we must. That's what the bottom looks like. It's golden and it's a little bit soft. And this is really fluffy. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Hmm. So first things first, this is the first time I've ever had an ostrich egg. And in my opinion, it tastes just like a chicken's egg. I don't think I would ever know that this was meringue made from an ostrich egg. It tastes just like regular egg whites. The texture is really fluffy and whipped, kind of like the foam on the top of a cappuccino but it tastes eggy. The bottom part has a little bit of a skin, like a membrane, kind of like when you fry an egg, but of course not crispy, just kind of membranous. It's actually quite good. Delicious, perfect amount of salt in that. Now let's try the yolk. I've got a little piece of toast here that's buttered and I'm gonna stick it in there. This is perfect, nice and runny and a little bit gelled on the bottom. Here we go, happy breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> Delicious, absolutely smashingly delicious. Mm. Perfectly cooked, scrumptious. And again, tastes exactly like a chicken's egg to me. I would never know that this is an ostrich egg, except by its size. I think this would be a terrific take on a British fry up with your sausages, with your mushrooms and your tomatoes, just a huge one. I think it would be hilarious. And your bacon, lovely. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, the delicious and enormous giant ostrich cloud egg. Big thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link down below and start your free account and start building yourself a beautiful website. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media so you know what videos are coming up next and I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.